Today, we're diving deep into the psychology and physical devastation that comes with wielding Strange's abilities. Quantum mechanics actually supports the multiverse concept he navigates, but your human brain wasn't designed for it. We'll explore five devastating tolls. The neurological damage from astral projection, the reality warping horror of mirror dimension, the physical destruction of dimensional energy channeling, the consciousness fracturing experience of Dormammu's dark dimension, and the temporal madness of time stone usage. The truth is, the real enemy isn't Dormammu or Caecilius. In the Marvel Universe, astral projection is one of the first abilities taught at Kamar Taj. The Ancient One demonstrates this power by literally pushing Strange's soul out of his body during their first encounter, separating his consciousness from physical form. Masters of the mystic arts use astral projection to scout enemy positions, communicate across vast distances, and even engage in combat while their physical bodies remain safely hidden. Strange himself masters this technique to fight Cassilius while his body lies unconscious in a hospital bed, proving that the astral form can interact with both spiritual and physical realms simultaneously. Your brain relies on constant sensory feedback to maintain your sense of self. Every nerve ending, every muscle fiber, every organ sends signals that confirm you exist in your body. When Strange separates his astral form to fight while his physical body remains motionless, he's essentially inducing a controlled dissociative episode. Studies on out-of-body experiences show that even brief disconnections can cause lasting psychological trauma. The astral plane operates on non-Euclidean geometry, where straight lines curve back on themselves and distances have no meaning. Your visual cortex would be processing impossible spatial relationships, like watching a corridor that's simultaneously longer and shorter than itself. Neurologists have documented similar effects in patients with spatial processing disorders, and the results are devastating. Permanent damage to the parietal lobe, chronic vertigo, and complete loss of depth perception. But here's the truly horrifying part. During astral combat, Strange witnesses his own body lying there like a corpse. Sleep paralysis research shows us what happens when people observe their motionless bodies, even briefly. The psychological impact includes chronic anxiety, depersonalization disorders, and an inability to trust your own senses. Your brain literally cannot reconcile being conscious while watching yourself appear dead. The astral plane's physics would overload human perception within minutes. Strange navigates spaces where up and down don't exist where objects can occupy the same location, where cause and effect operate in reverse. Consciousness studies indicate that processing these contradictions would cause rapid neural degradation. The hippocampus, responsible for spatial memory, would essentially short circuit, trying to map impossible geography. Real world cases of severe dissociation show patients losing the ability to recognize their own reflection or feel connected to their physical form. Strange performs astral projection regularly sometimes for extended periods during battle. The cumulative neurological damage would be irreversible. You'd lose the fundamental connection between mind and body that makes you human. The mirror dimension is a parallel reality that perfectly mirrors our world but operates under completely different physical laws. In Marvel lore, sorcerers use this dimension as a training ground and battlefield because damage done there doesn't affect the real world. The Ancient One first introduces Strange to this realm during his training, holding New York City like origami around him. Masters manipulate matter at their will, turning stairs into slides, making buildings bend and twist, and even creating impossible geometric structures. Caecilius uses this dimension to devastating effect during his attacks on the Sanctums, trapping his enemies in a reality where he controls the very fabric of space itself. The Mirror Dimension represents the ultimate psychological breakdown scenario. Imagine being trapped in a reality where gravity points in multiple directions simultaneously, where buildings fold inside out while you're standing on them. Your vestibular system, the inner ear mechanism that maintains balance, would experience catastrophic failure within seconds. Studies on motion sickness show that contradictory sensory input causes immediate nausea, disorientation, and panic. But the mirror dimension takes this to an impossible extreme. Your eyes see architecture bending and twisting in ways that violate every law of physics while your inner ear detects gravitational forces pulling in directions that don't exist. The result would be violent projectile vomiting followed by complete spatial disorientation. Your brain processes visual input and gravitational feedback through separate systems that must agree for you to function normally. 
When Strange manipulates mirror dimension architecture, flipping entire city blocks like puzzle pieces, those systems receive contradictory information. Research on spatial awareness disorders shows that even minor conflicts between these systems can cause permanent damage to the cerebellum and brainstem. The terror goes beyond physical symptoms. You'd be trapped in a reality where natural laws simply don't apply, where your understanding of a cause and effect becomes meaningless. Psychological studies on prisoners in solitary confinement show that losing predictable environmental cues causes rapid mental deterioration. The mirror dimension would be infinitely worse because the environment actively defies logic. Extended exposure would cause permanent inner ear damage, chronic balance disorders, and complete loss of spatial reasoning ability. Strange regularly spends extended periods manipulating mirror dimension physics during combat. The cumulative effect would leave him unable to navigate normal three-dimensional space, permanently disabled by his own powers. Throughout the Marvel Universe, sorcerers channel energy from other dimensions to fuel their magic. The Vishanti, ancient entities from beyond our reality, provide power for protective spells and healing magic. The Flames of the Fall team grant pyrokinetic abilities, while the Crimson Bands of Sidorak create unbreakable restraints. Strange draws from dozens of these extra-dimensional sources simultaneously, weaving their energies into complex spell matrices. During his battle with Dormammu, he channels his power directly from the Dark Dimension itself, using the entity's own energy against it. The Sling Ring portals require precise manipulation of space-time, literally punching holes between dimensions to create instantaneous travel across vast distances. Let's talk about the sheer energy requirements for Strange's abilities. When he creates a portal using sling rings, he's literally tearing holes in space-time itself. The energy needed to bend reality at that level would be astronomical. We're talking about forces comparable to lightning strikes channeled directly through human tissue. A single bolt of lightning carries about 5 billion joules of energy. Strange creates multiple portals simultaneously while maintaining protective shields and casting offensive spells. Your body simply wasn't designed to be a conduit for cosmic forces. Human cells operate on millivolts of electrical potential. Channeling interdimensional energy would be like running a nuclear power plant through copper wire meant for a flashlight. The cellular damage would be immediate and catastrophic. Your nervous system would literally cook from the inside out. But it gets worse. Strange draws energy from other dimensions where physics operates differently. These aren't just alien environments. They're realms where fundamental constants like speed of light or gravitational force might not exist. When that energy enters our reality through a human body, it has no conform to our universe's laws. The conversion process would generate massive amounts of heat and radiation. Thermodynamics tells us that energy cannot be created or destroyed, only converted. Strange's spells violate this principle constantly, which means the missing energy has to come from somewhere. The training required to survive this would be inhuman. Extreme fasting to reduce metabolic demands, meditation techniques to separate consciousness from physical pain, and conditioning that would make Olympic athletes look weak. Even then, the cellular damage would accumulate. Rapid aging, organ failure, and catastrophic immune system breakdown would be inevitable. The Dark Dimension is a realm of pure magical energy ruled by Dormammu a being who consumed his own reality and transformed into living cosmic force. In Marvel lore, this dimension exists outside the normal flow of time, making it a place of eternal existence where past, present, and future have no meaning. Dormammu has conquered countless realities by merging them with his dark dimension, absorbing their energy and inhabitants into his infinite realm. When Strange enters this space to bargain with Dormammu, he's stepping into a reality where human concepts like death, time, and individual existence become meaningless. The dimension itself is alive, responding to Dormammu's will and reshaping itself constantly around his cosmic consciousness. The dark dimension exists outside time and space as we understand them. When Strange confronts Dormammu, he's entering a realm where human consciousness simply cannot function normally. Sensory deprivation studies show that removing normal environmental cues causes rapid psychological deterioration. The dark dimension goes infinitely further, removing the concept of environment entirely. You'd be floating in a void of pure cosmic energy with no reference points for up, down, or even self. Your consciousness would fragment as it tries to process infinite existence compressed into singular moments. 
The repeated death and resurrection cycle Strange endures would create trauma beyond human comprehension. Each death would be experienced fully. Every moment of pain and terror burned into memory. Then, instant resurrection, consciousness snapping back to face the same horror again. Strange experiences thousands of deaths in what feels like eternity. Quantum consciousness theory suggests that human awareness operates on quantum scales, making it theoretically possible to exist in multiple states simultaneously. But the dark dimension would overload those quantum processes, forcing consciousness to experience every possible state of existence at once. The result would be complete ego dissolution, the total destruction of individual identity. You wouldn't just go insane, you'd cease to exist as a coherent person. The Time Stone is one of six infinity stones that govern fundamental aspects of reality throughout the Marvel Universe. Hidden within the eye of Agamotto for centuries, this emerald gem grants its wielder complete control over time itself. Strange uses it to reverse the destruction of the Hong Kong Sanctum, creating a temporal bubble that restores the building and resurrects the dead while leaving the rest of reality unaffected. During the final battle with Dormammu, he traps both himself and the cosmic entity in an endless time loop, experiencing death and resurrection thousands of times. Most devastatingly, Strange views over 14 million possible futures during Infinity War, experiencing every potential outcome of their battle against Thanos to find the single timeline where they achieve victory. The Time Stone represents the ultimate violation of human consciousness. When Strange views 14 million possible futures during the Infinity War, he's forcing his linear mind to process non-linear time. Your brain evolved to experience one moment flowing into the next. Simultaneous awareness of millions of timelines would cause immediate psychological collapse. Strange doesn't just see these futures, he experiences them. Every possible death, every failure, every victory plays out in his mind simultaneously. Neurological research indicates that the brain cannot distinguish between vividly imagined experiences and real memories. Those 14 million futures would become 14 million sets of traumatic memories, all equally real to his consciousness. The isolation would be absolute. Strange becomes temporarily displaced from linear reality, aware of futures that may never happen and pasts that might change. He's essentially alone in time, unable to share his experience with anyone who exists in normal temporal flow. Strange carries the burden of cosmic awareness that no other human mind could comprehend or share. So, could you handle being Doctor Strange? The answer isn't just no, it's physically impossible. Your brain and body would be destroyed by the very powers that make him a hero. The astral projection would fragment your consciousness, the mirror dimension would shatter your spatial reasoning, and channeling cosmic energy would cook you from the inside out. Every spell, every dimensional jump, every moment of wielding the mystical arts would push you closer to complete psychological and physical breakdown. But here's what makes this truly fascinating. Quantum mechanics actually validates the multiverse concept Strange navigates. The many worlds interpretation isn't science fiction, it's cutting edge physics. Those 14 million futures he witnesses? They mathematically exist in parallel dimensions. The dark dimension's timeless existence? Quantum theory suggests consciousness could theoretically exist outside linear time. The problem isn't that Strange's powers are impossible, it's that human biology is completely inadequate for cosmic awareness. Strange isn't just Earth's protector, he's a walking sacrifice, trading his humanity piece by piece to save a reality that most people don't even know is under threat. What other cosmic horror scenarios would you want us to break down? Let us know in the comments, and if you want more deep dives into the science behind superhero powers, hit that subscribe button.